Oof, Capricorns, cross watchers especially. Family, who is this person putting the full court pressure on another person about where it is that they stand in this friendship, with this company, with this job offer, in this relationship? And we're seeing this competition competing over somebody's attention, over somebody's affection. Capricorns, come talk to me. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, family. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know where it is that you are watching from. Always big shout out to everybody in Michigan. Family, again with the full court pressure, we see the five of air over here. Some of y'all dealing with the air sign person. We see the five of fire over here. Some of y'all dealing with a ratchet fire sign. And then we have this water here with this cup emotions effect and i almost feel like it's an emotional time for people i i know in the midwest sweetest day is getting ready to come up if you don't know what that is google it but somebody is desperate to know where it is that they stand and what you don't see because you don't have my same bird's eye view is this over here at the corner of my eye now, some of y'all may be dealing with another earth sign person, Capricorn. <clears throat> but it could be some of you, I feel like maybe fighting even with your siblings over the attention of one particular person here. Your mother, family figure, grandmother. Not only that, as I'm side-eyeing this Queen of Pentacles, it's also the putting something on the floor. Giving somebody something they can feel, something they can see, touch and feel, proof, evidence, a serious, solid, solid commitment here. Somebody's ready to have a conversation, family. A converse, again, about where it is that they stand. So underneath this five, uh, mm, big blanche with the six of, I told y'all, where do they stand? And in this particular situation, whether it is you putting on the full court pressure or you being full court pressed, shout out to the basketball fans. Um, this is having to do with a relationship where somebody knows there's competition. It, it's giving Pokemon at this point. Wanting to lock somebody down, somebody feeling that they've you know invested a lot of time, effort, even money into this situation. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Is we is or is we ain't. I'm going to leave the, yeah, this Ace of Pentacles here. And even this Knight of Pentacles. Put them here. So somebody feels like they've been patiently waiting on an answer. Oh, somebody's been, you know, floating out there with the response or taking their sweet time with this King of Cups. I want to clarify this five of what is this what is this conversation about i'm almost feeling like i don't want to use this deck i'm not i'm gonna use one and then put mm. <laughs> what's with this tower moment see now i'm feeling like somebody's trying to spring a conversation on somebody queen of pentacles again about where it is that they stand Notice the rabbit here. Oh, yeah. That tower is about to take you down a rabbit hole. Mm. Who is this parent, par parent, girl? Who is this parent figure? Parental figure? Guardian? Maybe they are a mother or a father here. Again, and the fives, right? We got team fire, team air, team water here on the board. It's the fives. Somebody looking to majorly change up a situation. Maybe the number five and or 55 is significant for you. Some of you dealing with a Taurus or that May 5th. Mm. Somebody's tired of being single. Somebody uh, is tired of waiting on somebody to make a final decision. Somebody's done waiting for somebody to go with the flow here. Again, 
the tired of waiting, ready to move on here. And the six and four of air is a 10. Who is this person that is obsessed or who is this person that you are obsessed with that somebody's got to make, make the final call here? Make the final call. Shout out to those of you with heavy air in your chart or are dealing with an air sign. Please drop your sign and this person's sign down below. We've seen a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've also seen a lot of fire though too. Big Aries, Sagittarius, shout out to the Cuspers. And Leo, heavy Leo. Now, I said I wasn't going to clarify this tower with the same deck. Mm, take it take it or leave it. We see rose here, but somebody may be removing those rose-colored glasses, family, to let a situation go. Mm. We see that five of cups moment here, which is that regret, remorse, feeling even embarrassed. Ooh, now somebody's emotions getting the best of them. But it's also this little three of cups moment here on the other side of her, right? Which speaks to friendship, reunion, reuniting. So who's this person that came back? Got put back in the game. Mm, pulled them off the bench. And now they're applying that full core pressure. Lord have mercy. This tower. <laughs> you see the tower being clarified by this sun falling out. Some of you dealing with the Sagittarius. Sagittarius cuspers, drop your birthdays. But this also speaks to shining a big fat light onto something. A situation working out either way since the sun is positive, whether it is right side up or upside down. But new beginnings, happy endings, illuminating some things. And we see these flames coming out of this tower. Little Scorpio Aries. Boop, more fire. There is something that upon this tower moment is coming to a screeching halt. We see a lot of fighting here, being argumentative, combative. But it could also be somebody being defensive over somebody talking about this new future, the, all the possibilities here. Family, somebody's still making a decision with the Six of Pentacles. And heavy on the Virgo Libra cuss vibes when I see the Six of Pentacles. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. Somebody's... <laughs> Who is this person, Capricorns? Because I feel like it's you. That is very much happy and content with exactly where they're at right now. Some of you looking at this six of pentacles and the everything is fine, this two of wands. Shout out to the people in Greece that watch me. That's what it makes me think of. There's somebody who's just happy with people competing over them. And maybe it's not so much competing over them as much as somebody may have been upfront and honest that they're seeing other people. That they're, you know, Kevin Samuels exercising their other options, family. And for those of you who have been up front or are dealing with this upfront person, uh, they're not making any moves. And we see that last five, right? The five of fire. No, we, well, no what's the five of pentacles that we haven't seen? Oops, we've seen this before. Um, the competition, the confusion, the chaos surrounding this. Somebody may just walk away from this situation. What's this? Oh, run away at full speed, Knight of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Again, I've already done a reading on some, some of y'all being blocked because somebody's moving too fast for somebody. You know, you can go and check that out again. Subscribe, join the family. But uh, yeah, somebody's not ready to make a decision. Others, they're very comfortable exactly where they're at, you know, dealing with or talking to other people. Again, some people like people competing over them. But there's, for some of you, this person coming in, arguing, fighting, baby, trying to prove themselves to you, or you trying to prove yourself to somebody else, it's about to turn somebody off. And I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if it doesn't put push this person away. Uh, yeah, or it could, it, mm, that King of Cups again. 
seeing a lot of him. And the seven of pentacles, the seven showing up. We've seen fives, we've seen lots of sevens now, a couple aces. Somebody's no longer ready to go with the flow. The flow is giving wild rave, waves, tsunami, turbulence with this king of cups. And why do I feel like it was a person who was all smiles and happy? Family. Everything was all good until this tower moment. Some of you, it may have even been an argument that leaves somebody, you know, feeling a certain way. But I, I almost, it's, it, it feels like a conversation about where a situation is headed. Again, heavy on where a situation is headed here. The Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, this Queen of Wands here. Then we see the Five of Cups again. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who lives out of town in the suburbs when I think of the Five of Cups, while some of y'all live in the city or even, you know, like I said, the long distance thing. This Queen of Wands says a few things, right? Somebody's very physically attractive, beautiful, handsome, driven, And that could be why there's this full court pressure, fam. But it could also be, there's a, like an entitlement vibe. Like I've put in all of this with the expectation that something was going to be given. Can we see that on camera? Yes. And then you got the sad five of cups. Mm -hmm. The sad five of cups. Page mm, five of swords. King of... Mm. It's giving, I regret to, I regret to inform you. And there's that five of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody's trying to put the full court pressure on a situation for somebody to make a decision. Again, about a partnership, relationship, friendship here. That due to the way that they went about this, it's not going to work out the way that they think it is. I, I really feel like it's, it's, it's pushed a lot of, it's pushed somebody away. Push somebody away. Somebody's getting the vibes to leave a situation alone. Baby, that there's a lot of strings attached to this situation. That somebody might be a little controlling. Because again, it goes from, you know, keeping things light and bright to these wild waters here, fighting, arguing. Yeah. I hope it's not you giving off toxic here, Capricorn. Or again, a situation that may not have had strings attached. Now somebody wants there to be strings attached or wanting to be permanently attached. And somebody's... Somebody's acting like they're getting the message, but they're really not. Because we did see... Did we see... No, I put it away now. That everything is fine. It ain't fine. It wasn't fine. The pressure is becoming too. The pressure is becoming too much for somebody. And shout out to the Capricorns dealing with the Libra, right? The Libra cross watchers tap in. Uh, it, who's scorekeeping? Again, the scorekeeping talking about everything that they put in with the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe even using a little, you know, emotional manipulation here. Again, it's it's the. It's the keeping somebody in bondage, wanting to keep somebody. St somebody wasn't ready. Somebody wasn't ready for a relationship or this friendship or, or this situation. Again, it could be the, that the pressure got too much to them. It could be that upon spending time with somebody, getting to know them, somebody was not interested in that same way. Because we see that weighing out the pros and the cons with that justice card, making a serious decision. The truth of the matter coming out. Somebody talking about, you know, what's, fa what's fair? Ooh. 
but some of y'all are dealing with somebody who likes to be alone. Now, whether that's romantically being single or like doesn't need a bunch of friends all over them, doesn't need, you know, a business partner, doesn't need a bunch of coworkers drooling all over them, coughing all over their desk. This is somebody who's, you know, content with themselves. And then you see this Leo vibe here, right? But also, it, it's going to take a lot to move this person to either say that they want to be in a relationship because this King of Pentacles is a married person. Somebody in a committed relationship has children, a father figure. Mm. Somebody's not ready for that. Or this man or woman is not the one feeling that. And somebody's standing on that. We also, mm -hmm, the four of pentacles, that three. Somebody is very much set in their ways. There is also somebody here who's just a very private person when I look at this four of pentacles. But it's the Three of Wands and the Seven of um, Cups for me. And that while there may be some confusion about where somebody stands, there really shouldn't be. Because this Three of Wands is in the river. It's, it gives the vibes of somebody being distant and not really allowing somebody to get close to them. So this relationship where somebody was only allowing somebody to get so close. Okay, for somebody to think that a situation was just going to, uh, they were gonna be the only one or the only person that somebody was entertaining here. It does get, somebody was fooling themselves. Uh, fooling themselves about where a situation was headed or where it was going. So those of you that told somebody straight up or were told straight up that somebody was not looking for something serious, that even that they were, Okay, dealing with other people. Who was thinking that that was just somebody playing hard to get here? Some of y'all dealing with a water sign. And now it's given a friends with benefits situation, Netflix and chilling. Or only when somebody's in town. Again, some of y'all dealing with somebody that was a long distance thing, hoping for the best. Maybe even met them on the internet. Could even be somebody who's in school, maybe even know this person from school. But somebody felt like these mixed signals were, were green flags or, you know, signs that somebody should go harder, do more. But it really gives the vibes of somebody... It regardless, somebody's not not ready to be tied down. So not the nine of pentacles again. That king, right? The king of pentacles, heavy Taurus. Ace. Somebody is not ready for that. Somebody's not ready to with this empress. Even though it is a married woman, mother vibes. It gives somebody's not wanting to give up their independence just yet. That this seat that they're sitting in, they don't have a vacant seat next to them. Family, somebody's not looking for a relationship. And they're and they're not afraid to say it. I wouldn't be surprised for those of you that get into a text situation with somebody, texting and asking them. They may just text you back. Because we started with this five of swords and we're at, yeah. Some of you being put in this position or putting somebody in this position might just, it may just be your last conversation. What's underneath this eight of, mm, the memories. Somebody, somebody really thought they were building something with somebody. I can say that with the strength card. Mm -hmm. Everything was going so well here with the six of cups, having a good history with somebody. Feeling like this person was a blessing in this situation. But then you see Big Blanche here. That Seven of Pentacles again. Mm -hmm. And this really speaks to somebody putting in the effort. Putting in a lot of time and energy. 
But it's either somebody wasn't listening or they were so obsessed with getting the outcome that they wanted that they were willing to just do whatever. And this is pushing someone away. The Stan energy, like Stan, the Eminem song, somebody being obsessed and pushing somebody away. Yeah, the, the constant ten of swords. Whether it's actually a betrayal here as we're looking at this five of pentacles or not, somebody is going to feel betrayed again. And a lot of that has to do with the feelings that are involved, all of the effort and the work that they put in. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. Somebody's feeling, somebody got their feelings all wrapped up in a situation. And that's, and that's why you can't do these casual things. King of Swords. Yeah. Family, some of you, this is even a person who you know, they knew that you guys couldn't be friends because somebody noticed, still have feelings. The Scorpio vibes here. Libra, Scorpio, Cusper, some of y'all. Somebody has not moved on past the previous relationship. It being a friends with benefits, it being a situation ship. There's somebody who would, okay, who may have taken the friend role, that position that really wasn't trying to be a friend. That was expecting this to, again, turn into a relationship. They were expecting a second chance here even. Right. Somebody straddling the fence here, waiting for an opportunity. And again, it does give the friends vibes. Let's just be friends. Giving, giving somebody a little bit while they're watching you give more to somebody else. That's that competition. That's that competition, the Six of Pentacles. Somebody could even see this. Mm -hmm, and it wasn't fine. 10, 10, 10. Who's this person in their 30s that was acting like pretending like being friends with somebody after a situation was serious, maybe even physical, sexual here, we see the devil. Mm. And everything was going to be okay. It was the opposite of that. And really with these two ten of swords, we see that everything is fine. That ten of swords in the, right. Somebody acting like everything is fine, but feeling like it's a betrayal. Uh, it, this may even be a repeating cycle with some of you. With this person, you know, coming around, asking, this is a, a super side note here. Those of you with this, keeping this friend around, that's really not a friend. They're an ex. I don't know why people put that label on things. They felt like they were building something with you. Some of y'all felt like you were still building something with someone. You ain't building nothing when you were friends with benefits. I'm just, I'm just here to tell you right now. This nine of cups. Somebody is very much content and happy in this situation without that ace of cups, as we see here, or that knight of cups. But here somebody is putting in this effort. Again, this knight of pentacles, the most solid and stable. Someone you can count on. Big Virgo energy. But it is the slowest moving. It's also the card of breadcrumbing. Some of y'all were allowing yourself, because it is allowing yourself to be breadcrumbed here. Thinking you're working on something while somebody is over here juggling. J Who's this Taurus? Maybe you had a physical relationship. Now you don't be in friends. Some of y'all dealing with this ratchet earth sign. Or it could just be a very financially stable person, right? Family. They're not, somebody's not looking for a relationship. They're not looking to make an, an any changes. And for some of you, mm, it's the three tens for me. The ten of pentacles, two tens with the judgment and the ace of wands. You people in your 30s pretending to be friends with people you were in relationships with or wanted relationships with. It's a no. And some of you, mm, by asking this, it may even take the physical relationship that you have, that last little thing, that ace of wands. It may even be, it may even be the end of that. Yes. Family, for some of you, this con this conversation is it. Like somebody's spider sense, if it wasn't already, will be tingling and they'll be ready to end a situation, putting up all types of roadblocks. Somebody's not getting the hint. Somebody's moving funny. Again, applying this weird pressure. 
Notice this mermaid swamp monster here. Girlfriend, boyfriend from the Black Lagoon. Who remembers those books from the Scholastic Book Fairs? They used to come to the schools. Back when kids would read real books. This player energy. It's either turned somebody off. Or, or it's got some, or it's got somebody going crazy, thinking about where a situation was supposed to go, headed towards a relationship. Y'all were supposed to just run away and elope and get married. Shout out to the people in Vegas, Aries, Leo, Big Cancer. Yeah, emotions, getting the best, getting the best of someone. Clearly. Driving somebody insane. Somebody just can't take it. Late night tax wanted to talk about where this relationship is going. Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Somebody's done with you. Done with them. Yeah. Gladiator vibes. Cutting somebody off. Keeping it moving. And real professional. And I think, and I'm saying professional, and then I'm thinking in my mind, some of y'all work with this person. Some of y'all work with this person, and that's why some of you have been trying to keep things cool, keep it on the low, keep it friendly. Because some of y'all are stuck between a rock and a hard plate. Is it work? Y'all are in a project or a contract together. See, I did a reading. I did a reading on it. Family, hit the like button. Join the family. Who is this person that you had to make it work with? Some of y'all dealing with a boss, a subordinate. Mm, mm, mm. And somebody wants to know how things are lining up with, with you and them. The three, mm, hoping and praying, wishing. And somebody's got to, yeah, that wasn't an accident. So, family, something is coming to a close. Let me know what resonated. So please drop this person's sign as well as yours down below. Hit the like button, subscribe. And Capricorns and Crosswashers, I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.